I have a... Uh... Oh. Does she have things on? Yes. They'd give her things. What about just general, like... Have... Things. But I can't get anything out of storage right now, I don't think. Right, she has threes, which is very strong. And well, we need to go back to Tucson. chance to apologize. Okay. Ohio Ohio I've been listening to evil messages rather than good. Ness, please forgive my lecture earlier. You're now welcome to stay free of charge. Your blue sheets? No, I'm just kidding. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's nice of him to let us stay free of charge, especially if... Well, okay, we, we do need to level up Paula, because I did not expect her to be level 1 when she joined. I would expect her to be, like, I don't know, not level 1? I think I was a bad boy, I guess. Painter was pretty strange, but so was everyone else. You act like you weren't. Sorry about everything, <laughs> let's be buddies. Feel free to take all the items. Paula, I have zero in space. Still very blue in here. Like I'm no longer hypnotized. I too was wrong in many ways. Okay. Let me just hope Paula doesn't die on the way back. I guess that's probably why we have the teddy bear. I don't know how good she is at damage. I guess we'll find out. Oh god, a cold! No! More hit points. Yeah. I don't know what prey does. Well, just try that out.
Oh, I went up two levels. Ooh, fire alpha. No, f three levels. Five levels, or four levels. Oh god, I, uh, levels. Get to do taxes tonight, I'm sorry. Oh, that's something I'm gonna have to do soon, too. I take it that fire is exactly what it sounds like. the trees because they explode. Okay, so no, I'm not dealing with Not that I even know where I'm going. Oh no! Subtle light. That's a okay, so it is a heal. I was wondering about that. Um, there's some free. Oh no! The teddy bear is dead. I think it's if you make under a certain amount of money, then taxes are for certain. See if I can find my thing. Nope. Okay. No, I'm not one to ask about taxes because this year is the first time. Well, not the, the this year is the first time I'm going to be using like an actual uh, program for them. So I don't know anything about tax programs. I should say. Oh, to one enemy, to a row. Oh, okay, so... Raises single target, and then... Fire is... I know that my dad pays money, uh, to, uh, god damn it, fucking robot, for his texting. There are fucked her up. I, tr I just went and checked it, and it's not there anymore. I had it bookmarked, book bookmarked, and the uh, bookmark doesn't go anywhere. But I know one of the things was I think H and R Block will do it, has it for free until like under a certain income, I think. Oh shit! Wait.
At least I think. I don't know if they still do. Fuck, who knows? What? Crying? Um... Is that bad? That looks bad. Uh, I think I know what crying does. That seems to be the same thing as blindness. But it looks like it wears off after. We're supposed to go. Hot thunder to enemy. Uh, well, like a random Shit! <sighs> oh. Rip. Your DM is gonna print you the sexy moth, man. How do I, how do I revive her? Oh, she's brought in and is still unconscious. Please pay $110 for the doctor's fee. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's better than like ten thousand dollars. Um, which one? Uh, where's the the 
Where was the... Withdrawal, uh, yeah. Sorry, Paul, I didn't mean to get you killed. That's why I was trying to avoid the trees. Those trees are evil. She needs to level more so that she doesn't fucking die. Hi. Don't ask me why I just decided to stand here. I don't know. She's doing more damage, which is good. That's helpful. Yeah, okay, so it's like the original Final Fantasy where if the thing dies, your party members won't automatically attack something else. She's gonna catch up very quickly in psychic power, which makes sense, I guess, because she is the caster. Wasn't enough to kill? Gotta be more careful. <laughs> Those trees, man. She's dead again. Oh, rip money. Give me money. <coughs> uh, 
having people die is gonna get pretty expensive if I'm not careful. I'm sorry, Paul. Okay, oh god. Sorry for bumping my microphone, I didn't mean to do that. One of these days I'll get like an actual, get like a separate microphone. That way I can just have it sit somewhere and I don't have to mess around with it. Let's not die this time. Fuck, that was just a present up there. Oh. Um, no, oh, it's just the sprout. Okay, that's fine. Good job, team. Not dealing with the trees. I'll deal with the UFOs. That's that's fine. I ain't dealing with the fucking trees. Hey, dude. Blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. Now I don't have to go through that whole fucking thing. Right, right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Try bother leveling all I feel like she'll I feel like she'll catch up. Maybe, maybe, maybe she'll catch up. Oh! Hi! Poppy! Thank you for the follow. Dr. D, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Mushrooms! Come at me! 
rambling evil mushroom and its cohort. Untech! Oh goodness! You invited a few friends. We got mushrooms. $50. Her fear tech support is here. Yeah, come here. Yeah, we got shroomed. That's fine. This is feeling funky! Oh, that caused me to attack the other one. Wait. Did I? I could have sworn that I... Okay. You know, whatever. I'm not gonna think too hard about that. Everyone's probably like, glad to see you so healthy with a mushroom on my head. It's unhappiness have changed. <laughs> Heard that you, Paula, beat up the kidnapper. You're my favorite. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, God, you do not want a shroom on your head. Oh, it's a fucking hospital's all the way up there. Turn my controller. Oh god. There goes again. It's rotating my fucking D pad. Yep, here, take it. I need any help now. Nah. make money while spinning around in circles. Congratulations on solving the kidnapping. Uh, thank you. Am I? Okay. But a mom said they won't go to Happy Happy Village. I'm not sure why, but now I'm happy. Sorry that I made you worry. Woke me from that nightmare. Yeah, you two were just gonna leave your child behind and go join a cult. Seems like real great parents. The other day, did you speak to a boy who invents stuff? Sure did. Spoke to two of them. One of them gave me something completely useless, and the other one actually is very helpful. Oh, hi. The fuck? Unassuming local guy? Seems very unassuming. 
Hey, Eva. A toothbrush? What do you want me to do with a fucking toothbrush? Kidnapping is wrong. I'll be careful not to kidnap anyone. Okay, sir. I thought you two make such a nice couple. tell you about Tucson? No. Oh, that's too much trouble for me, too. Oh, <sighs> well, it's happening with your work, so you're just gonna sit back and watch it burn? Sounds good to me. That's not, not the thing I wanted to... Oh, maybe it's... What do I have? I actually have a lot of things. I don't need to... Oh, well, I do need to pick up some things, probably. Oh, there's just a bench. Oh! Might be the highest rank person. Oh. I picked the wrong thing. Now I have to wait. to three things. I mean, the grocery store that mom works at has been kind of imploding for a while because they don't have enough people. Hi. Yeah. Night. I like how he just vanishes. Before, I believe I said this department store isn't crowded. I like that, or something to that effect. Did you? Okay, everybody in here is just gonna say the same thing. Somebody that sell that lets me sell things.
I have no idea what the, um, I have no idea what the toothbrush is for. I guess I can help. This brush can be used during battle, gone after one use. Uh, okay. Something I forgot to do. <laughs> I was gonna save while I was at the hotel. Then I forgot. Because I have a great memory. as hard as I want. Can't tell me what to do, Dad. Imagine if my dad came in here like, what? Time to talk to animals. I sure do. The animals are very cute. Doesn't seem like anybody really has any say. Oh my god. Stop dissing Apple Kid. Apple Kid's fantastic. Hi. Fucking hippie. Yeah, okay, everybody needs. Thank you for saving Paula. You're my hero. Okay. Oh, I knew it! You saved Paula! I don't really understand it. I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. Your very own handmade band-aid! Oh, that rhymes! I know, I'll call it a hand-aid! We got the hand-aid. Hey, Dad? He's sorry that he suspected Mr. Everdread of Berglund Park. Where is he? Oh, Paula! Yes, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. Not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next town will meet another friend. Three of us can combine our power. No one can be. Wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Bye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Will you? Our next destination is going to be 
greed. Oh, wait. Uh, we have to go talk to the dude. He wanted us to come back after we rescued Paula. Yes? Ever dread is looking for you. He's got something for you. Yes. Right. He was like, hey, drop by when um, rescue her. I'm going to ask you to be my partner. I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. I'm a kid. Except that I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give it to you. It's $10,000! Use the money any way you like? I- yes! I'll take it! I plan on looking for the evil Mani Mani statue that Lyrix Agrit unearthed in Onet. See you at another time in another space. Oh, I got the wad of bills! There's no way that's legit. Or it's gonna be... I'm gonna have to pay 10000 for something. There, there's... There's no fucking way. Come on. Come on. Oh! I know what we can do with it. <clears throat> um. Whoops. Wait. Is that a shortcut to check? Oh. Just want to see how long the dog blocks that cop. <laughs> okay, I can give it to these guys, can't I? It's a girl today, you must be pretty popular. Not introducing her to my bandmate. He's right there. He came with Paula. You deserve a present, Playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. Picture is taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. you decide to pay off their debt. I do have... Arden, you want to talk about money? How about later after the show? Okay. Okay. So I do have to see the show first. Present your ticket. Oh. Yeah. Here. Okay, wait. What does the hand aid do? Handmade Band-Aid. It heals your wounded body. Gone after one use. Okay. No, hurry. You're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Oh, God. Kids, how'd you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? I'm here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. 
are no good looking waitresses and there's no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Now I think it's pretty tacky to entertain our company's business partner by taking him to a runaway five show. Since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the, li toe the line? Bill? I don't know. A little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. Give you one thing, you got guts, kid. I'm too proud. I mean, they just filled up this little music hall after all. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. Hey, hey, don't get too close to me. <laughs> you just farted. Sorry. Oh. Runaway 5 are going to be a world famous band someday. Sit close to the stage. Sometimes I get sweater spit on me from the Runaway 5. Seeing the Runaway 5 on stage is my life. Let's start bouncing around talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. <laughs> Like baseball? Yes. I knew it! Your cap gave it away. Lucky if the runaway five told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it! Can you take me with you? Please, please, please! I could pose as your sister. Yes? This rocks! Let's go! Oh, my heart is pounding. Oh, okay. I got dragged back here. I leave. Wasn't done talking to people. Uh... Oh man. I think feel like I just missed out on a bunch of dialogue on accident. Alright, you got the Chaos Theater's soul men coming at ya. Rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five. And here they come. Oh yeah, baby! Oh, now I can talk to everyone. Tone deaf, my daughter brought me here. It's love ragtime. This is a Blues Brothers reference? Ah. And like you really gets into the Runaway Fives music? Wow, I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. It looks like Mr. T does. I'm so excited! I might just wet myself! My heart is going pitter-patter! What do you think? Wanna see one more show? No. That's... I'm, I'm good. Mr. Poochifa, the manager is looking for you. I wonder what he wants? Cash, that's what I want! Cash, that's what is hot! Cash, that's what I want! Hey, I just made up a new song! <laughs> I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? It's a great gig! Can't be this good all the time, can we? There's a bunch of NPCs in this game that look like Mr. T. It's kind of funny. Excuse me, ma'am. Thank you.
I do have... I do have... Here. Excuse me? So you got there. Let me take a real close look. You know, go right up in your face. Yipes! You surprised me! Now I'm not sure what to do. Got the money, of course, and now the runaway five are free to leave. Got no complaints now that I have my money. What do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow! This means we can get out of this dump! I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. Make a spectacle of myself, did I? Suppose I'll never see the Runaway 5 show again. Miss the Runaway 5 when they finally leave, but that's life. Let's go to 3! Our tour bus is too loud for any ghosts to bother us. You want a ride? Hell yeah! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Hey guys, here we go! Hey, sidewalk! Get out of my way! I don't like them. Hey, they didn't stop at the stop sign. The fuck? Like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. But I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. See you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. Okay. Just drop us off in a gloom town and then... This is creepy. He's like circus animal cages. Oh. Um. Zombie dog. A zombie dog. That's literally exactly what it is. Three 
return to the dust of the earth. That's what it said. Okay, uh, where's the shop? Let's go to the shop and see if there's any new equipment to buy first. Yes. Well, there's new weapons. Like, I don't know, 500. <laughs> I rearrange my items, please. Yeah, here's Borger. I don't like there being a circus in a room. It's like this. Whatever that guy wants to show up. I don't. I don't think I. Yeah, I don't need the pass. Uh, I'll sell the bracelet. To store the past. But, you know, whenever the uh, the dude decides to show up. able to get over here, right? Maybe? Maybe he can.
Nope, he can't get over here. So much for that. I'll just drop the cheap brace. No, might actually soften. Then we'll go around and talk to everyone. this town is. Yeah, I worked for the zombies, but I betrayed them too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gigas. My herd might be female. I'm not sure, really sure whether Gigas is male or female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? Yeah, you're very helpful. But uh, just knowing that, is... you smile like that in a dangerous place like this. Well, you know. Do I really look like I'm smiling? Pitching of tents in this area without permission. It's graffiti here. Just play it. Saw a beat up tour bus going to Foreside. We can't go through the tunnel. The man was really noisy, so the ghosts didn't approach the bus. Must be great to be so happy go lucky, huh? Software development house where you can see Mount Fuji. Owl Laboratory? What? Oh! It's a puppet. Freeze beta. There's nobody in this house, okay. That's right, there's a rumor that a monster called Belch is screwing up the town. Belch? That's a gross, twisted name even for a monster. Uh... sandwich oh yeah 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 there's literally nobody in the bakery okay stronger than a zombie but a bunch of zombies ganged up on me I'm sorry, are you gonna turn into a zombie?
zombies got me. Should have gotten some zombie insurance. Wow. So well-known theory that if you're bitten by zombies, bite back and you can recover. Of course, there's no scientific evidence to support this theory. <laughs> Zombie town, clearly. Uh Smiling Sam. Here there are two of them. See what Thunder does. Nice. What are you at the pizza place? That's pizza. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to three. <laughs> Thanks. One is here now. Oh, okay. It really? Uh huh. Headquarters of the Zombie Relief Corps is in the circus tent at the center of town. We want to crush the zombies, except I think they'll crush us. Sorry. That seems very dark, right? People are mostly living at the center of town. Wonder how we should get the town back from the zombies? There's a rumor that there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. My pants just thinking about it. Okay, well. Escape to the beach, if this is your big dream. Come to... Carlon Beach in Summers. Summers Tourism Bureau. Sus rock. Oh, that's the graveyard. Okay. He told oh, there's two graveyards. shop okay should I talk to him let's see how much a hint is for amusement sixty dollars no the 
Ghost Bulletin Board greets you this evening. All is well. Good night. Okay. Thank you, Bulletin Board. I'm a wimpy little guy, so I can't open the door. You know, it's scary. Awfully kind taking time out to talk to a mouse. This mouse loves you! I love the mouse, too. Looks so happy. Better cheer up or he'll become a zombie. Some people have already become tools of the zombies. Oh shit. People want the burb facts. Oh god. Okay. Burb facts. Ow. Do I know anything about sun... Conur... Conur... Well, okay. I think that tells you right there that I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's, let's, let's see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they are loud. <laughs> One thing that potential son Conure, Conure owners should realize is that these birds are extremely loud and not a good choice for those who live in apartments. They possess an ear-piercing scream that they will emit throughout the day, more notably at sunrise and sunset. Their contact call can carry for miles and helps them locate each other in the wild while out foraging for food during the day. In captivity, however, this level of noise can cause problems for those who live in close proximity to their neighbors. <laughs> oh wow, and they can live for up to 30 years. A zombie! I'm watching a zombie movie. Can you come by later? They are really pretty birds. And they like to screech. That's great. I love that. I love that for them. I saw a suspicious woman talking with the zombies around here. Earthbound is treating me well. Uh, yeah, we already killed Paula a couple times, but it's it's fine. Careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Yeah, I could have figured that from running into the fucking puppets and the zombie dog. She doesn't have very much in the way of uh, hit points, does she? Alright, I should probably go to Circus in the middle of the town. For some reason, they just decided to slap a circus right there. Check these. can't get to Tucson or Forsyth. Maybe the hidden road in the graveyard is safe. Yeah, you're the second person to have mentioned that, so... Overheard the zombies whisper. Mr. Belch will give us our lives back. Mr. Belch is the zombie leader. He must be really pukey. Oh. Lovely. Your business that we have a small house. Just keep all that whispering quiet out there. I just I said nothing about your small house. Hi, hello? I'm so scared of the zombies, I spent all my time running from them. I can't even get home. Oh, sorry, kid. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do, you, what do you want? Oh, you got drugs? You got what I need, huh? Uh, I don't know what any of these things are. On the 
watch for bad guys, says the shady dude selling me fucking bombs. So why, just everybody in town lives at the circus? Guess so? They defeat the zombies! Oh, uh, I just don't know! The zombies are slowly advancing toward the tent. We won, I repeat, the zombies are on the move! I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent, and then set it on fire? We may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. You guys got a, like, a lion in here that you can, uh, set loose or something? No? I guess that would be too easy. Okay. I think I see where I need to go. And, oh, lag. It's fine, don't worry about it. Wow. Mom hung up on me. Graveyard time. This one first, because I think I don't think this is the one that we need. So we'll this one. Oh, good. I don't have to. Can't read the gravestones. Otherwise, I'm gonna go around reading every single one. Okay, the trash cans are sentient. The what? The smelly ghost and putrid moldy man. Teddy bear. Talk off from our real monsters. Get that, wipe that grin off your face. has a big grin on its face. Fuck oh, off. Oh. a terrible- oh. Alright, it's- I'm guessing Thunder is just a random enemy. Oh, it could be anything. I see. Fucking damn it. Cheater. Oh! Nice. So there really wasn't anything in this graveyard. Hey 
pictures to get taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. <laughs> wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Oh man. I didn't even go anywhere. Like. Is the path that these guys are all talking about not like all the way on the west side of the map? Okay, foe. Good luck with your meetings. Uh, this is not where the hotel is, by the way. In case you were wondering. Uh, 120, fine. Oh. Sir, are you going out? Yes, newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what is in it. Destroy the humans! Hold the town for our glory and for the glory of our master! Oh. Worth staying at the hotel if only to, um... Of the newspaper. All right. I think here's a good spot to stop for today, because going through the graveyard's probably going to be an entire ordeal, I'm sure. Okay. Today? Wednesday? Okay, yeah. That's going to be all for me for today. Uh... Tomorrow... I don't know, tomorrow will probably be art. We'll see. It's either gonna be like art or I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope that you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Take care of yourselves and I may or may not see you tomorrow, we'll find out. This week has been a week, so, you know. But for now, bye-bye. 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 Thanks for 150 followers, guys. I really appreciate it. And I love you. But I won't get all mushy on ya. <laughs> so, bye bye. <laughs>